Jail and prison overcrowding are huge problems for Fresno and the Valley. Police say they sometimes put a crook in and they get out the same day. The state prison system is under federal order to ease overcrowding. To do that, the state is unloading its inmates into county jails. Fresno's seeing that in a big way. Fresno County Sheriff Margaret Mims told me the state told her to expect 69 state prisoners in October. But by the end of the month, it had sent more than twice that number. That means less room for people arrested in Fresno County and more early release. Well, Phoenix, Arizona doesn't have an overcrowding problem. It has not released an inmate early since 1993, and it's home to the second largest jail population in the country. One of the reasons? Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio's tent city. When he took office in 1992, the county faced overcrowding problems. That's when he built the tent city jail in the desert in downtown Phoenix. Up to 2,000 inmates sleep in bunks under canvas tents. So could something like that work here? It was on the ballot three years ago, but voters rejected it. To find out, I went to Phoenix to find out how and why it works. In the hot, dry Arizona desert squat rows and rows of tents, tents full of inmates. The sheriff has a, what he calls a no-for-else jail. A guard tower blinks a vacancy sign day and night. There will always be room for uh, inmates that commit crimes in this county. Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio is proud of Tent City. More than there. I, I could put tents up from here to Mexico. His Tent City jail is controversial, but he scoffs at claims that it's inhumane. If you're going to commit a crime, you're not going to live in a Hilton hotel. Okay, we're just south of downtown Phoenix, and over a thousand inmates sleep under these tents. It's the first week of November, and the high today is about, it's going to be about 85 degrees, but in the summer, the temperatures under these tents soar to over 140 degrees. Our men and women are fighting for our country. I have to live in Afghanistan, Iraq, in tents, in the heat, with all the gear. So if they could do it, why should we complain about convicted? They're given the now infamous underwear. pink underwear and socks. On basic bunks and bed pads, inmates read, sleep, or just pass time before their next work shift. Every single inmate in Ten City works a job. They work to earn money because there's no free lunch here. Some even volunteer for chain gang duty. The one air-conditioned spot, the cafeteria room. Inmates get two meals a day at a cost of 50 cents a meal. No sugar, no coffee. And we give them a hot meal all night. They get to 2,500 calories. In the early 90s, Phoenix had more inmates than jail cells. Instead of spending $80 million on a new jail, Sheriff Arpaio spent 150 grand on Tent City and saved millions of taxpayer dollars. No inmate has gotten early release since. Release early? Mm -hmm. Well, just let out because of overcrowding. I would never. I didn't do it to save money. If I had a billion dollars, it'd still be living in tents. It has nothing to do with money, nothing to do with overcrowding. Arpaio believes in a tough environment for convicted criminals and says California should follow his lead. If I was the sheriff and near the ocean, I would put him on barges instead of letting him out. You can, put, you can build barges if it's a prison zone. Or we open Alcatraz instead of tourists start using that. <laughs> Out at the ocean. And when I left, he said he was serious. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I, 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 he's, yeah, I imagine he would. He, um, he would have a hard, very hard time getting that to fly in California. We have to deal with um, different groups who represent prisoner rights that in California is different than in other states. It's a bigger challenge. In 2008, Sheriff Margaret Mims helped put Proposition 6 on the ballot. I, I would love to be able to be successful in getting some kind of alternative housing in California. Also known as the Safe Neighborhoods Act, it would have given county sheriffs the freedom to build and operate alternative style jails. I think any way that we can hold inmates in um, a much less costly manner is certainly worth it. But it was soundly defeated. A whopping 70% of voters rejected it. Prop 6 is all tricks and no fix. Don't fall for it. Vote no on Proposition 6. Mims believes it failed because it got lost in all the propositions on that year's ballot. But now Fresno County can't try anything new without changing state law. We are very regulated when it comes to building jail beds. 
They're very, very expensive, very, very regulated, down, right down to the square feet per inmate that we have to have. The size of the showers, the size of their bunk, it's more expensive in California you know, than, than other states. You know, it's mainly personnel costs. Meals in Fresno County Jail cost about a buck twenty each. No weight machines, no cable TV, but inmates can buy coffee. Now that state prisoners are crowding county jails, the costs are climbing even higher. So could a cheaper alternative jail help solve our prison crisis? If we could change the state law to allow it uh, and ease up some on regulations, some type of tent city might be allowable. Not like it does in the Arizona desert. Why do you feel sorry for convicted criminals in the tent? I, I don't understand that. He's quite honest, isn't he? I apologize for Sheriff Arpaio's audio in that story. I promise I didn't just rush up on him in his office. He was very gracious to give us an up-close and personal look at how his tent city jail operates. Sheriff Mims says she'd like another chance to let voters decide if California should loosen jail regulations. But it costs a lot of money to get a prop on the ballot, and that's something hard to come by right now.